It's always fascinating what composers come up with for, for new operas, and I think Brief Encounter is no exception. Based upon a Noel Coward play, Still Life, uh, and a, a more famous screenplay that Noel Coward wrote himself, uh, adapted from his play, Brief Encounter, that became the, the much-loved uh, movie. Brief Encounter, as a work, is a period piece from post-war England. It is, a, it is a piece about unrequited love that is very much of its time, but in a strange way very timeless as well. When Laura Jessen, this suburban, this English suburban housewife, accidentally meets Alec on the railway station and, and the, the, the seeds for a possible romantic liaison are sown, it makes her think about her, her, her life. Maybe there is something lacking in her happy suburban contentment. There is nothing more thrilling for an opera company to undertake than the commissioning and creating of a new opera. And even more thrilling is the prospect of engaging one of the most iconic musical figures of our time, uh, a great conductor, a great pianist, a great jazz musician, as well as a great composer, Andre Previn. John Caird, the, the English director who also has written the libretto, really focuses on the soprano and the baritone. It's really a piece for these two singers. And um, the American soprano Elizabeth Futrell will be joined by Nathan Gunn, of course, who was last seen here singing Mottoni in the coronation of Popea. I, I couldn't be more excited about seeing this piece come to life. I think it will be very accessible. Um, the narrative will be the same as the movie, uh, and, and I think it will give uh, real musical pleasure uh, because Andre's musical medium is a very accessible, very melodic, uh, very immediate one uh, that I think will really bring to life the emotions and passions uh, of this story.